bigger, better, faster, and more. The four drivers that used to guide our approach to business, maybe even to life. But now, as we emerge from lockdown, what if there was another way to look at this industry called retail? And maybe even our world. Let's start with the idea of bigger. In the United States today, we have five times the retail square footage per capita of any country in Europe. We have 10 times the retail square footage per capita of China. Undoubtedly, as we think about US retail, bigger is a word that springs to mind. But with so much real estate sitting empty, the question becomes, what should we do with it? Against this backdrop, there's an adage it's worth reminding ourselves of. The greenest building is one that is already standing. And the greenest of those are the ones that we have to do the least to. So perhaps this year, we'll see a retailer who will reinforce their commitment to sustainability by pledging no more ground up builds. Perhaps we will see a shift in our awards and incentives towards ones focused on adaptive reuse and renewal over new. Nobody is saying this will be easy. There's tons of talk about revitalizing these lost spaces, but almost no one is doing it. Adaptive reuse is wholly in line with the needs of our society from a sustainability standpoint. Which brings me to another point about bigger. Because when it comes to retail, who says bigger is where it's at anyway? From teeny tiny Target stores, to Nordstrom Locals, to Bloomies by Bloomingdale's. Small format stores are the new black. And who'd have thought the most talked about retail phenomenon during the pandemic wouldn't be flagship openings, it would be Louis Vuitton and their series of gorgeous little pop-ups. When it comes to retail, nobody is saying size doesn't matter. But as we think about the future of shopping, scale won't be everything. 